Welcome back, everyone. 75 years ago today, 160,000 Allied troops landed along a stretch of heavily fortified French coastline. It was the day the tide began to turn against the Nazis in World War II. It was D-Day. And for the next two weeks, you can experience D-Day in an immersive and moving film on the Omnimax screen at the St. Louis Science Center. Five years ago, we spoke to the director of that film, a Frenchman who is eternally grateful to America. Normandy uh, today is very beautiful and you cannot imagine that uh, 70 years ago it was hell on earth. Pascal Vion, a native of France, is the writer and director of the film D-Day, Normandy, 1944. It's an eye-popping mixture of live action, CGI, vintage photos, and even something called sand animation. Uh, the animators have to move each grain of sand with brushes on the light box and take a picture and again and again and at a rate of 24 frames per second uh, they create magic. So why revisit this story seven decades later? You know in 2014 it's the right time to say to kids that uh, we have to remember the, the veterans and the, the people who, who gave everything for our liberty for the peace. They were from 12 different nations, but that summer they united to liberate Europe. Fion says that even children can enjoy and learn from this film. It's difficult to look away as you watch the action unfold on the larger than life Omnimax screen at the St. Louis Science Center. IMAX is a, um, it's an incredible media to, uh, to tell stories. It's the biggest screen in the world. I think it's the best the best screen to, uh, to show uh, the biggest event in history. You'll probably recognize the voice of the narrator. In southern England, the greatest armada of all time finally set sail, heading for Normandy. Longtime news anchor Tom Brokaw was hesitant to sign out of the project at first, thinking it was just another D-Day documentary. But then... Uh, when I showed him the, the first 10 minutes of the film, he realized that it was completely different. And so uh, when I asked him to be the, the narrator, he said, yes, of course, yes, it's my duty to do it. As a Frenchman, Vion says this film is his way of saying thank you to North America. Let's remember those who gave everything that summer in Normandy. I am grateful, so I want to show it. Mm. D-Day, Normandy, 1944. That's the name of it. It's showing once a day, now through June 20th, at the Omnimax Theater in the St. Louis Science Center. Hasn't been in town for five years mm. since its original release. I remember that. I would that. highly recommend you get out there and check it out. It's I'd so like cool. To. So, so Educational good. for kids that, yes. that have no clue what this is all about, the magnitude of what happened, mm -hmm. uh, the impact of what happened. The number of souls lost, we talked about that yesterday. Yeah, it's remarkable. Yeah. Nothing like it before or since.